Sorry, Don. Well, what kept you? Traffic. Anything? No, nothing. Not a whisper. So what's all this about the landlord? Well, apparently the bloke was late with the rent, so the landlord let himself in and had a look round. No sign of the bloke, but he found all these magazines and videos. How much material are we looking at? Enough. All involving kids? Afraid so. This is a vice problem. Why aren't Uniform handling it? They've checked it out, but Andrew Munro reckons there's stolen property on the premises. So what have you got? Landlord says the tenant is a chap by the name of Mike Ryan. And there's nothing on file, so either he's new or it's an assumed name. You haven't searched the flat, but you've looked at the stuff. Lots of copies of the same video, so he's obviously distributing. If we could pick him up, we could get into the network. More names, more abusers. Sounds like a lot of ifs and buts. That's everyone with related form. I need something on this soon, Chris. Sarge. Was having a word? And she might be off to ID him. Ah, oh, forget it. We play the elbow. She's got a key. Mike? Afraid not. I still don't understand why I've been arrested. Or oh, you've been told. For possession of offensive material. Do you want to speak to a solicitor? No. Okay. Kate Morris, ring any bells? What's she got to say for herself? Nothing much. She's been kicking up a bit of a fuss, though. Cute. And then? Getting in the way of the search. Whose flat was it? Her boyfriend? She wouldn't say. Uh, sir, do you want to get straight on now? No. I'll speak to Mr Meadows. No one else. Mike Morris, paedophile. I put him away five years ago for abducting an 11-year-old girl, Sarah Golding. He targeted her, got to know her, won her trust enough to pick her up on her way to school. So who's the woman downstairs? His sister, Kate. she into what he's into? I doubt it. But we'll be lucky if we get anything out of her. She's loyal to him. Now, I presume somebody's searching the flat. Uh, yes, Gov. Um, but if you want the place turned inside out, they'll need a hand. Liz rawton has gone down there now. There's something like half a dozen copies of each video and the magazines. Good, Liz. Bait. So why did you want to speak to me? Because I thought you'd realise I've got nothing to do with this. Really? Yes. You know me. You know I've never been involved in any of Mike's... stuff. All I know is that there's a stack of child pornography in Mike's flat, which you had access to. So at the very least, you must know what's been going on there. No. What Mike does in his own home is up to him. So possessing child pornography is all right, is it? Well, it's got to be better than going after the real thing. Well, you don't know what's been going on in the flat? No! Even though you've got a key? So he gave me a spare. What's that supposed to prove? Look, I haven't heard from Mike for days. That's why I went round there. I needed to talk to you about this. I'm worried about him. You know as well as I do there are people who'd like him out of the way. Such as? John Golding, for one. What are you saying, Kate? Are you making an accusation? I hope not. So who's John Golden? It was his daughter, Morris, abducted. You see, Kate protected Morris over that too. Took us a week to find the child. She had us running around in circles. And she'd do the same again now, giving half a chance. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, Gov, Mike Morris got out on licence a couple of months ago. And probation haven't seen him for a week or so. But apparently he's working at a pub in Carby Street called uh, The Boat. He don't work here no more. Since when? Since he didn't turn up for work, Tom. And when was that? I haven't seen him since last Friday night. He's in trouble, is he? You any idea where we might be able to find him? No. I don't know what he's mixed up in, right? I just give him a job. Go on. Well, he was always on edge. There was this bloke who used to hang around outside waiting for him. Don't know what was going on. Put the wind up in, though. Which bloke was this? He used to sit out there in a recovery truck. Belongs to a garage up the top end of the Hilton Road. Yep, that's it. Thanks. The garage owner is listed as a John Golding. Well, he's the key holder anyway. Hello, can I help? Detective Inspector Deakin. This is Detective Constable Lyons from Sunhill. Mr Golding in? Uh, that's OK. I'll handle this. Is there a 
somewhere private. Ah, oh, this is my son, David. All right. So, how can I help? There's a pub in Carver Street called The Boat. Do you know it? You sorted. Got everything you want. Yeah, what's going on? That's nothing. It's nothing to worry about. Look, uh, I'll bring the Sierra around to your place tomorrow, okay? Go on. So, Morris has been complaining, has he? Come on. We've had reports that you've been hanging around the pub. I went to see him and I told him to keep away from my family. That's all. I mean, has he got a problem with that? When was the last time you saw him? He was at the pub last week's Friday night. I waited for him to finish work and we had words. I don't want him round here. I'm sure you can understand that. You warned him off? I told him it would be better for all concerned if he moved on. It's all within the law. There's no violence, no threats, just talk. And you haven't seen him since? No, I thought you'd taken my advice till you turned up. I suppose you want me to leave him alone, hmm? I think there are better ways of dealing with it. Like what? There's nothing you can do, is there? There is, if he breaks the law. Perhaps you should tell Sarah that. It's my daughter. Maybe she'd sleep better. What you got? There. Well, there's not much to see. Yeah. Thought you might need a blanket. I want to know what's happening with my brother. I don't know the details, I'm afraid. Well, presumably somebody's trying to find him, are they? I imagine so. I'm completely in the dark here. Nobody seems particularly interested in what I've got to say. Well, you were interviewed by Mr Meadows, weren't you? For what it was worth. following up. You think so? Golding admitted that he wanted Morris out the area. Yeah. Well, that backs up what Kate was saying. Well, so what? If it was me, I wouldn't want Morris within a hundred miles of my kids. Yeah? Sorry, Sergeant Daly's on the phone. Do you think a child's involved? Well, I don't suppose we can rule it out, but I don't think so. Not at first glance. Sir? Right, uh, got blood up here on the corner of the fridge. It looks like Morris is whacked with this pole here. Judging by this pool of blood and the prints on the bookshelf, that's where he went down. Excuse me, Gus. Uh, found this jacket amongst the rubbish. Morris's. And uh, in the pocket, this wallet, and these photos of him with kids. want me to tell anyone that you're here? I live on my own. I don't have any contact with my family anymore. There is no one else. Only Mike. Look, I know what he did to Sarah Golding was unforgivable, but he's been punished for it now, hasn't he? But I don't get this. You say what he did was unforgivable, but how can you sit there defending him? Because I'm his sister. Mike and I grew up together. We both suffered the same... It wasn't a happy family. But that doesn't justify his behaviour. Oh, you don't behave like that. You've got no idea, have you? What do you think it's like for me? I'm on my own with this. The only time people speak to me is when they want something. Like you lot. What would you do if it was your brother, eh? I can't turn my back on him. Well, let's hope Mike turns up. Because if he is in danger, and you know something that could help us to find him...
I was up and down Morris's street, nobody saw a thing. So what's this? Security tapes. This office is just across the road. We've got a couple of cameras covering the car park and part of the street. We could still be talking about a child victim. Well, there's no evidence of a child being there. I think it points to Morris being given a beating. Get gold again. And so what? We haven't got anything on him. I'll talk to Caitlin. All right. Ask Golding to come in voluntarily. Ask him a few questions, and then if we're wrong, it gives him a chance to put us right. Go. This was filmed four nights ago outside Morris's flat. Golden. Yeah, I know where he lives. Uh, yeah, I did go there looking for him. When? That was three or four nights ago, after work. He wasn't in. No? Look, I agreed to come down here. If I knew I was going to get the third degree, I wouldn't have come. So why did he go back to the house? To see if he'd actually done what I asked him to do. Well, moving on. Yeah. Look, I drove around to his house, right? There was no answer. I went around the back, I looked through the window, there was no lights on or anything, so I hung around for ten minutes and then I went. And that's it? Yeah. You got a camera? Look, what's all this about, eh? <sighs> OK, presumably something's happened to Morris, is it? Someone's had a go at him or something, is that it? Look, why pick on me? There's a lot of people who'd like to have a go at him. Such as? I'd have thought, after what he did to your daughter... Hey, hey, no, you don't know anything about it. I was only asking. No, you're making presumptions. You don't know how I feel. So tell me. I wouldn't know where to start. Take it easy, Chris. He's got the motive. He's on tape, parking near the flat. Yeah, and he came out of the truck on his own, so where was Morris? Unconscious on the garage floor. Golding could have come back and picked him up. Come, just go in careful and just pussy footing around. Go, Kate Morris wants to speak to you. Golding sent letters. Threatening letters. To Mike? And to me, too. Saying what? Saying that he wanted Mike to move, amongst other things. I can understand his point of view. Have you still got these letters? No. I burnt them. And the ones he sent to Mike as well. So there's no evidence then, is there? Why should I make this up? Yeah, but now you're asking me to arrest John Golding on your say-so. I think it's time you started to get real, Kate. Look, I know what Mike's done in the past is wrong. Yes, and he always tried to rationalise it, make out it was all right. Well, it's not all right. You've got to stop kidding yourself. You've got to stop letting him hide behind you. So come on, what else is there, Kate? What do you mean? We both know there's always something else, don't we? All right. I'm showing Kate Morris exhibit RS1, a man's jacket. Do you recognise it? It's Mike's. It was found in his flat. So where is he? We don't know. Now do you believe me about the letters? I believe he's missing. And it takes that to get you on my side? This is not about taking sides. I don't want him to go to prison. He'll go down for the pornography found in his flat. This is different. What is? Look at the jacket. There were some photographs. Go on. Golding followed Mike and took photographs of him, with children. So Golding's still here, is he? I told him to wait on the off chance that Kate might have something. I needed to be sure, Chris. So what we're looking at, just an abduction? I hope that's all, for Golding's sake. Do you want to search his place? we better play it carefully. He's under pressure. He might panic. Let him go, see if he leads us to Morris. The DCI's right. Golding knows he's in the frame. So it's only to lead us to Morris. If he isn't already under six foot of concrete. Still a chance of barking up the wrong tree. I know what Golding's been through. Precisely. All the more reason he's up to his neck in this. 
There's enough evidence, we've got no choice but to go through with it. Lines from Skase. In position now. Lines from DCI Meadows. Receiving? Yes, Gov. He's on the premises. He's going inside, Gov. Well, with you, Rod. Look, I haven't got clear line of vision at the moment, so what's going on, Rod? Uh, he's still inside. So what's he up to? I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's just come back to finish off his paperwork. What paperwork? What, more letters? Gov? He's coming out. Looks like he's talking to someone. Looks like they're shutting up shop. Well, he's coming towards us. No, hold on. He's going into the yard. Right. He's getting into the wrecker. Moving off. It's coming your way, Tosh. We're following him now, Gov. Rod. Clear, Gov. Okay, here we go. The place you're going over. DC Lines from DCI Meadows, receiving. Yes, sir. Where are you, Tosh? We're at the boat. We're on our way. He may be on his way out, Gov. Soon in. Look, I think he might be onto us. Right, you follow us when you can, Don. We'll have to stay with him. Hold invoices. Rod, this invoice, hmm? it's got a different address on it. Check it out. Yeah. Right, let's go. Please stay where you are, please. What's going on? Are these your premises? Or my son's. What do you expect to find, Mr. Meadows? 
Anything off? He's giving us a run around. You can see why Golden moved. Do anything stupid. Ross! Right, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Right, you got him? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not. <sighs> Morris had only been out of prison a couple of weeks. And I saw him hanging around the school. Is that where you took the photos? Yeah. He was burning them when I went round to his place. What about your son? Look, David didn't know anything about it. Not until tonight. I knew you'd be watching me, so... I had to involve him. There's no choice. I mean, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it, before he discovered my old premises. What was he supposed to do with Morris? I'd just move him, you know, dump him somewhere. Look! I am not ashamed of what I've done. He was going after other kids. Well, somebody needed to do something. And that's all the justification you needed? Yeah, well, you'd have done the same, wouldn't you? Oh, come on. You can't have forgotten the state Sarah was in when he'd finished with her. You found her. Do you remember what he said? in court, that she consented. Do you remember that? Now, you remember how terrified she was, and I wanted him to know what that felt like. It isn't worth it, John. You should have come to us. I'm free to go now, am I? Yes. So where have they taken, Mike? St Hughes. We've come with them for the time being, thank you. I wanted to thank you. What for? For getting you to come clean about him? You let him hide behind you. You knew what he was doing. All this could have been avoided. There are reasons why Mike behaves the way he does. I know you think there's no defence. Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> 